dear friends in Christ, happy Sunday, and welcome to the 22nd Sunday in the Ordinary Time, ESC. It is not wrong to say that every person, or at least most people, look up to this time of honor, and on the other side of the coin, we all detest disgrace or dishonor. There are different things that could bring one both honor and disgrace. Honor is not just a title. It's a hard-earned dignity and respect among the people. However, there are many people in our society today who are addressed as honorable in terms of title, but who lack honor in every aspect and whose actions do not show that they are worthy or deserving of such a title. The scripture today leads us to appreciate that honor comes with humility and disgrace comes with pride. Our first reading is from the book of Sirach, chapter 3, verses 17 to 20 and verses 28 to 29. This first reading echoes a great lesson. And it says, my son, perform your tasks in meekness. Then you will be loved more than a giver of gifts. The greater you are, the more you must humble yourself. So you find favor with God. Humility, dear friends, is a great virtue. Sirach in this passage admonishes his listeners to know that they do not have all the answers. Humility teaches us that we are limited in many ways. I may want to achieve all things possible, but it is impossible for me to achieve all things. Pride is destructive. There are those who do not even know that they are proud. And there are others who will never accept, even when you correct them, about their pride, even when corrected. They continue to do the same. It is hard to change such a person. We all have some element of pride in us, but our pride can be positive and it can be negative also. Positive pride helps a person to hold self in high esteem and to avoid any form of disgrace. A situation where a child thinks he knows better than his father or she is more knowledgeable than her mother and becomes rude and incorrigible puts that child on a path to disgrace. A child may have as many clothes as the elder, but not as many rags. Every Christian should put on humility and not destructive pride. It makes a person look down on others. Today's gospel comes from Luke chapter 14, verse 1 and verses 7 to 14. In it, Jesus employs the allegory of a dinner to teach us a lesson. Do not give in to negative pride by thinking that you are the best in anything or that you are the most important of all those who have been invited to a meal. It will be a thing of shame if you are asked to give up your place for someone else. But it will be a thing of honor if you are called up from a lowly place. The man who humbles himself will be exalted. This reading touches upon many themes that we find in the Gospel of Luke. Humility, hospitality, and table fellowship. Concern for those on the margins of society and the reversal of roles are also in it. The teaching is about everyday etiquette. Respect yourself, know your place, and do not rush to a reserved place. It is no news that we have people who claim positions in our country and society in anticipation that they will be allowed to remain there. In our local and national politics, we have seen people who cheated their way into office, hoping that being the sitting occupant of that office will enhance their chances to remain there. 
many of them get thrown out by the courts. There are those who buy their way into office by paying for votes and distributing relief items at election times. Such people have a presumption that power brings honor. Presumption of honor is dangerous. It can lead to being downgraded to the lowest place. Do not fight for honor, earn it. Humility plays a great role in occupying an honorable position. It is not just about what you think of yourself, but what you are worth in the sight of God. The lesson did not end with the guests, but also something for the host. The idea of inviting those who can invite you, those who can repay you, is not true generosity. Generosity is about giving particularly to those who cannot repay you to rob the back of someone who has no hand to rob yours, that is generosity. Helping someone who cannot pay his bills because you are fortunate to have the resources, that is generosity. Giving a job to a jobless person who may not even have the chance to repay your good deeds, that's generosity. When you do it, do not blow your trumpet. The world is full of people who go to motherless babies' homes and orphanages and prisons, homes for the elderly, hospices and children's hospitals to help by donating relief items. That will be great, that's generosity. But there are those who go to the same places with camera crews so that the world will see what they have done. Could that be generosity? Beware. As you go about your activities this week, be guided by humility in all you do. Let us pray. O oh God, we thank you for all your blessings in our lives. Make us even more generous in giving of what you have already given us to those who are on the margins. Amen. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.